When people ask me why I go back to the lab year after year, sometimes multiple times a year, my answer is twofold. Number one, every time I'm in the lab, I see something I've never seen before. I like that kind of education. I like to be surprised and challenged. The second reason is to inspire awe. That's something you just don't get from reading textbooks, reading research, looking at two-dimensional anatomy books. That can be really informative and important work in your studies, yes, but there's some sort of woe that happens when you're actually looking and touching that you can't replace. So I keep going to the lab. Let me share with you something about the SI joint that happened the last time, just this last time. Never seen it before and it impressed me. So one of the things that we do in each lab that I lead is we skeletonize the pelvis. So we get so to this point um, where we've removed all the muscle attachments so we can really see the SI joint and the pubis, the joints of the pelvis. And I usually try to get people to break the SI joint with their hands. You know, I think that's a really good lesson in the durability of these joints. And it's pretty much impossible to move it, um, to move the pelvis, the two halves of the pelvis. So we usually give a little assistance at some point and we make a cut through the pubis. And now there's a little more wiggle room. And so now we can start moving the pelvic bones off of the sacrum, right? Usually gets passed around again, different people um, give it a try. And after some point, we make some headway, just happens. So this last time, when we finally got the ilium on one side separated from the sacrum, what happened was not what you would think. You would think that they would come apart at the joint. And we know the SI joint is part synovial, part fibrous. It's got two parts to it. So you would think in your mind that the synovial part of the joint that has the joint capsule um, the ligamentous joint capsule, that that would be the first structure to give, and you'd have these two bones, right? That joint being the weak spot. That didn't happen. You know what broke? The ilium. It, the fibrous part kind of came apart. When we got to the synovial part, it was like, it had come, the whole joint capsule had come off of the ilium and gone with the sacrum. And what broke the weak spot was the pelvic bone. I didn't expect that to happen. Just the way we talk about joints and bones and their materials and you know their structures, it, you would think that the joint, if I were to try to pull this apart, the joint would be the weak spot, not the femur. It was pretty mind blowing. We st stood around, kind of speechless, <laughs> uh, thinking, processing, touching, feeling, thinking about what it all meant. And there was a woman there who had been dealing with SI joint pain for a lot of her life. And the impact that it had on her perception and her beliefs and her understanding about her own body. You can't get that from looking at a book. It was pretty powerful. I'm actually getting a little choked up thinking about it. Come to the lab. Come see something you've never seen before.